Hi everyone, this is Richard with ShortTermRentalSecrets.com. Today I'm doing a little bit of research for an upcoming family trip um, and I would encourage all of you that are hosts on Airbnb to also take a look at it as a, a user, a guest. So I've had a lot of difficulty actually booking places, uh, whether it's for business or for pleasure on Airbnb. I do it whenever I can, but more often than not, I find that there's just not enough inventory or the quality that I need or the number of bedrooms or the dates. So even though there's tons of inventory and everybody's heard of Airbnb, go ahead and try and use it yourself and see what you think. Are you able to book the quality, the bedrooms, the dates that you require um, such that you would choose Airbnb over a hotel? And what I find is I would say in about, oh, maybe 10 to 20% of the cases I'm actually successful in booking Airbnb and the other, call it 80 or 90%, I still rely on more traditional methods such as hotels. So that brings me to my newest search and I wanted to share it with you. Uh, I was supposed to go to Jackson Hole. They were having an epic year, but um, unfortunately my daughter got injured in a ski race accident and so consequently, no Jackson Hole. So plan B, let's go somewhere warm. I thought Costa Rica, which is actually where I was born, would be amazing and um, would take my kids down there. So I'm searching in the Guanacaste region for the dates that I want to go. You can see that there's actually a lot of inventory over here on the map, which is really great. And it's cool that you can see where on the beach um, you can go and the different prices. These little um, lightning bolts here indicate instant book which is really great as a user because you don't have to worry about the host you know, being on vacation or not getting back to you or not answering. So things with the instant book are net positive as a prospective guest. I want to just share my thoughts on these um, thumbnails here um, and see what you guys think. First off, anything with 76 reviews and four and a half stars is really worth looking at. Uh, it's a good price, 93 bucks. The photo of the pool and so on is nice. Um, so that's kind of inviting. In fact, I think it's much more inviting than this property here, um, which is almost twice the price and has 23 reviews. Somehow they don't capture the photo of the pool that make me want to like jump in the pool and swim. They seem to capture, you know, this couch. And um, I don't know what this is. It's probably the house or whatever. Um, so I'm not sure that this is the most inviting shot. Whereas this one, this is how I'm going to actually envision my vacation. It would be me and my kids and we'd be in the pool and under here in this thatched roof. Um, so that's, that's nice. Uh, I think this shot from an artistic perspective um, is quite nice with the nice touch of the cowboy hat and the red pillows and, and the bed is quite nice. I'm not sure that that's the thumbnail. If that's the best thing that they have going for them, in Costa Rica, then yes, of course, it's the thumbnail. But I think from an artistic, creative perspective, it's quite nice and quite inviting. But it's unlikely going to get me to click on that when I'm going down to Costa Rica for the beach, the pool, the sun, and not to be indoors. Um, similarly, this photo here is just gorgeous, right? You have some sort of infinity pool with the blue sky and the ocean in the background. And this would be something that if it was in my budget, I would certainly click on. Uh, the only downside I see is that it's new and there's no listings. I'm sorry, no reviews. So that's, that's a concern. I mean, it wouldn't stop me, I wouldn't think. Um, but if I found something similar in the same price point that's available where there are reviews, it's a no-brainer. I'll take the one with the reviews. Um, and again, you can see here that even though I'm scrolling through a lot of these properties, there's just not that many that have reviews. They have nine reviews, they have 10 reviews, one review, um, five reviews, no reviews. So this is sort of my point. Um, it's really early in the days of Airbnb. Um, Costa Rica is a fantastic tourist destination. There are tons of hotels and there's tons of people that have gone and continue to go. And you see people are now listing their properties on Airbnb, but you can see it hasn't really been widely adopted. I mean, um, it's just not, uh, it's not mainstream yet. Now, in a year there'll be more and in five years there'll be even more, but I think that the opportunity for somebody, if you own a home in Costa Rica or in Canada or in New York, it doesn't matter where it is, to get started is really um, wide open territory. Uh, this, this space here looks really nice, again, if you're interested in sort of uh, agricultural, you know, if that's part of what your vision is for your vacation, 
Um, this photo of the of the ocean wave breaking, if surfing is something that you want to do, you know, this is telling a story. And just contrast that with this photo of an interior bedroom. Again, I just think that's not the best thumbnail shot. All of these homes are going to have interior bedrooms. This one seems to have a nice view, but I would think that your thumbnail shot should be of the nice view. So let's go ahead and just click on this and see if there's a better shot to help you understand you know, what I think the average person's looking for in terms of um, thumbnail shots. So this is what they've used. Again, nice photo, it's clean. Um, the bed is, you know, made relatively well. Um, here's a little bit more outdoors. Again, it's not that inviting. This is a little better, right? You can see that there's ni a nice terrace. You can see over here in the corner, sort of hidden, a little place to have a cup of coffee, but they're not telling any tale. Here's a photo of a roof. I'm not sure what that is a bathroom. Now this is probably the best shot I've seen thus far. I'm not sure that it's the best shot or the most inviting, but if you took a look at the One Fine Stay video that we posted, you might dress this up a little bit and put a book and a cup of coffee or maybe a couple of beers or whatever it is that you think your guests might do here and looking at this beautiful view which is breathtaking, like that's much more interesting and intriguing than the uh, bed shot. Um, I'm just going to scroll through this kind of quickly. Here's the view, but again, I have no idea where that's from or accessible. Thus far, I haven't seen um, a pool or anything like that. This view is actually much nicer because you can see the water and the mountains, but I'm not sure that the photography really lends itself to telling any sort of story. Now, this might be my thumbnail shot, right? And this is now number 14 of 27. I finally see what looks to me like a pool. I see the ocean, I see the sunset, I see the palm trees, and guess what I'm trying to do on my vacation with my kids? I want to be right there. So let's just contrast that with what they think is the number one shot, which was this one. Which one do you think is going to get more clicks and more business into their house? This one with two throw pillows and some windows, or the one of the infinity pool, the sunset, the palm trees, um, and the ocean. So this is the money shot. This should be their thumbnail shot. This is why people like myself are going to Costa Rica. This is what I want to be doing. This tells me the story. And this should be your thumbnail shot. If not that one, this one's excellent too. Look at that beautiful view. Look at that seating area. Again, I might dress it up a little bit by... Um, putting something, you know, like some reading material or some beverages. But, I mean, that's absolutely stunning. I can see the view. I can see myself up there. That's where I want to be. Oh, and now here's another beautiful shot. So, for whatever reason, these owners have thought that somebody's going to click through, like I have, 15 shots before I get to this. That's insane. I may not click past the first one. In fact, I may not even click on the thumbnail. So, don't do yourself a disservice and put, like, a terrible shot first, put your first shot that you think is going to get most clicks that's going to tell the story first and then put your second best shot and then your third best shot. Tell the story. Don't worry about like the bedroom and the throw pillows. Nobody's going to Costa Rica for a bedroom and throw pillows. They're going to Costa Rica to be in that pool with this view. Again, not that great photography, nice view, okay. Again, if you just take a few moments and, and stage the place, maybe put out a nice meal or some guacamole or whatever, you get the point. Um, again, they really seem to love this uh, bedroom and these throw pillows, but it just doesn't do it for me. This doesn't look that exciting or that comfortable. It looks like an inexpensive futon, and I don't really want to be indoors. I want to be outdoors. Um, again, they seem to like the roof quite a bit and the views from the window. Maybe it was a bad day to take photos, but if it's a bad day to take photos, take them, publish, go live, and then on the first opportunity when it's a good day to take photos, go back out and take them again. Digital photography is free, so is your time. This is an investment in your future. Um, put your best foot forward. And uh, you know, now we're getting to photos that just really don't do very much for me. I guess it's important from you know, the number of bedrooms and the number of people that can sleep there. But 
you want to make sure that you're you know telling a good story and don't assume that people are going to click like I did for 15 shots to get to the really good ones. I only made it to 15 here because I was trying to make a point and I'm filming this live. I've never seen this home before. I'm not considering it. I picked this one because I wasn't considering it. Um, but you know what? I would love to consider it given what I saw on the outside, only that nobody attracted me to it. So that was a real life experience. I've never seen this home before. That's my first impression on it. And I think watching it, you probably had similar impressions. Now go ahead, pretend you've never seen your listing, and be just as critical. And I think you'll find that really helpful. So if you found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're constantly producing new uh, free information like this to help you grow your business and put more money in your pocket. And um, I look forward to seeing you the next time. Until then, happy hosting and keep it up. See ya.